Hello friends, this video on Powers Part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us now understand what exactly do we mean by the negative exponents. Now let's start with simple uh, things. Let's say if I write 2 to the power 4. So what does this mean? This means that 2 is the base, 4 is the exponent and this means that 2 has to be used 4 times in multiplication. That is 2 is multiplied to itself 4 times. Similarly, if we talk about 10 to the power 7, this means 10 is multiplied 7 times. So this is what we have learned from the positive exponents. Right? Now the question is, what does 2 to the power minus 4 mean? Or what does 10 to the power minus 7 mean? So now 2 to the power 4 and 2 to the power minus 4 definitely cannot be the same thing. So they need to be something different. So what is it? Now let's do this exercise. So we see that 2 to the power 4 is 2 multiplied to itself for 4 times. Now what would be 2 to the power 3? That would be 2 into 2 into 2. What about 2 to the power 2? That would be 2 into 2. 2 to the power 1 would be 2 because 2 to be multiplied to itself only once. What is 2 to the power 0? That means 2 is not at all multiplied to itself. So this is basically 1. Now what are you observing? Now if you look at each step, at each step the exponent is getting reduced by 1. So every time the exponent is getting reduced by 1, what is happening on the right hand side? The entire thing is getting divided by 2. So here it was 4 times 2, you divide it by 2, you get 3 times 2. You divide this by 2, you get 2 times 2. Right? So at each step, so when you look at each step, every time your exponent is reducing by 1, the result on the right hand side is getting divided by 2 at each step. So following that, what can you say? 2 to the power minus 1 would be what? So here also you have reduced further by one step from 0 to minus 1. So this side what will happen? This will get divided by 2 further. So this will become 1 by 2. Now if I again proceed further and say 2 to the power minus 2. So this is like the next step of this. So in this case, this 1 by 2 will further get divided by 2. That means this will be equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. Right? Similarly, what would be 2 to the power minus 3? Again, this entire thing will get divided by 2. So this will become 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. Similarly, 2 to the power minus 4 would be 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2. Now again, if you look at it more closely, you would see this is 1 by 2 to the power 2. Similarly, this is 1 by 2 to the power 3 because you are multi in the denominator, you are multiplying 2 3 times. Here it would be 1 by 2 to the power 4 and so on. So with this exercise, we understand that for any non-zero integer a, for in this case, that non-zero integer is 2 a to the power minus m is equal to 1 by a to the power m where m is a positive integer that is 2 to the power minus 4 can be written as 1 by 2 to the power 4. So now we have found answers to these that is 2 to the power minus 4 is equal to 1 by 2 to the power 4. 10 to the power minus 7 is equal to 1 by 10 to the power 7. So this is how we relate negative exponents with positive exponents. Now not only this, a to the power minus m is multiplicative inverse of a to the power m. That means if you multiply 10 to the power minus 7 with 10 to the power 7, what will you get? You will definitely get 1. That's because when you look at these relations, 2 to the power minus 4 is equal to 1 by 2 to the power 4. So if you multiply these two, what will you get? You will get 1. Why? Let's prove this. So the proof of this would be somewhat like this a to the power minus m into a to the power m. So by the laws of exponents when you multiply two exponential numbers the exponents with same base. So in both these cases base is a with same base then the powers get added. 
So in this case, a m minus m would be zero. So this would be a to the power zero, and anything to the power zero is equal to one. So the product of a to the power minus m and a to the power m is always equal to one, which proves that a to the power minus m is the multiplicative inverse of a to the power m. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes, and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.